another episode of The Daily Walk, following Jesus into ordinary humanity. We continue our journey this week as we uh, discover how Jesus shows up in the ordinary routines of our lives and how we can create holy space in those regular, ordinary, mundane things that we do each and every day of the week. So today, um, like usual, I invite you to uh, find a spot that is, uh, is quiet for you and comfortable while you listen or watch this devotional and participate along with it. Um, you can get a glass or a, uh, a bowl of water and a candle um, and light that candle and just create the space for you as we begin together into another devotion for our week. invite you to close your eyes and breathe deep. Slow down. See the ground beneath you. This is holy space. Breathe deep. Slow down. Take the water, dip your fingers into the water. Make the sign of the cross on your forehead. And hear these words. You are a child of God, beloved. Breathe deep, slow down, this is holy space. Take your candle and look at the flame, look at it as it rises up and disappears and imagine your worries of the past, present and the future burning off like the flame. Let them go and release them. Breathe deep, slow down. This is holy space. Feel your heart burning within you. 
What is God saying? What is God taking? What is God revealing? Breathe deep. Slow down. This is holy space. It has not suddenly become holy, but you have just become aware of its holiness. This space has been holy the whole time. Breathe deep. Slow down. This is holy space. And now reading from the Gospel of John, from the 21st chapter. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put, them, put it in my side. Do not doubt but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Brushing teeth is one of the many habits we do each day to care for our bodies. Really, if you think about it, the everyday moments in our lives, much of it is just routine maintenance, especially for our bodies. We brush our teeth, you take a shower, you brush your hair, comb your hair, you eat to fuel your body, and maybe you even do some exercising. Much of this routine is to push off the slow decay of life that all of us experience. The deep reality that we often try to forget is that we're all going to die at some point. But as Christians, we are resurrection people. So that means that we believe the last thing that happens to us on this earth is not the final thing that happens to us. And we live in the, that hope of the resurrection. The interesting thing to me about this Doubting Thomas story that we all know so well is not about the doubt of Jesus' resurrection. It's the description of Jesus' resurrection body. Jesus doesn't appear to the disciples uh, or Thomas as a spirit or as some ghost-like figure. Jesus comes to the disciples in his full body. The story of Thomas reveals to us that Jesus' resurrection body is just like his humanly body, scars and all. Too often we think of the resurrection as an out-of-body experience where, where this internal soul is, is lifted out of the body and separated from the body, leaving the body behind. Of course, no one actually knows what that will actually happen in the resurrection, but we have faith that our resurrection will be like Jesus's. We believe in the bodily resurrection. We believe we will be given new life in the bodies that we have now. So what if your daily habits of routine maintenance were no longer about holding back the inevitable death and decay of your body? What if these routines were more about looking forward with the hope to the resurrection? What if the care you give your body today is a sign of trust and devotion to God with faith that this body is your resurrection body? What if brushing your teeth was a holy act that claims not only your humanness and brokenness, but also claims that you are beloved, that you are created by God and reconciled to God with hope. I think this changes 
the way we live these routine maintenances in our lives. When we look forward to the resurrection of our bodies. And we stop focusing on the death. So this week, I invite you to ponder these questions. Uh, First of all, how does the care of your body represent prayer and worship of God? Second, how do you create holy space while you are caring for your body, whether it's while you're brushing your teeth or the other regular routine maintenances that we do? And then consider this, consider offering a prayer before you exercise, before you brush your teeth, before you take a bath or a shower, or any of the other routine maintenances that you regularly do. Offer up a prayer to God to remember and point us towards the hope of the resurrection, the hope that we live in of the resurrected body that we have, just like Jesus has that we hear about in the Gospels, that Thomas helps to demonstrate to us. Offer up a prayer and point yourself toward the Christ that has saved. Amen. And now we sing together. transgressions he was crushed for our sins punishment that brought us peace was upon him by his wounds by his wounds we are healed he was pierced for our transgressions crushed for our sins Punishment that brought us peace was upon him. By his wounds, by his wounds we are healed. We are healed by your sacrifice and the life that you gave. We are transgressions crushed for our sins punishment that brought us peace was upon him by his wounds by his wounds we are healed by his wounds by May God continue to form you in the small moments of each day. May God bless you and walk with you in the ordinary and holy spaces of every day. And may God, may you witness Christ in the routines of each and every day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's peace be with you all. Transgressions crushed for our sins. Punishment that brought us peace was upon him.